Hello guys, welcome to the Joy of Cooking. This is Aishwarya Sunil Bivalkar. Today I am going to share with you all Rava Ladu recipe. This is specially for the Ganesh Utsav. Uh, we uh, require the prasads and all that. So this is one of the recipe that we can uh, definitely do for the uh, Ganesh Utsav. So let's start. So the ingredients that we require are semolina, that is Rava. This is fine Rava. Then we require water. Uh, this is ghee, cardamom powder, khawa or khoya, mava, whatever you say it. This is raisins. Then milk and sugar. The quantities of these uh, ingredients are I have uh, detailed them in the description box. So please do read the description box. Okay. So we'll heat a pan and we are going to fry our khawa. So we just have to fry it for about two to three minutes. Not much. So this is done now, we will remove this and we will fry our rava. Now we will add about 2 to 3 teaspoons of ghee and our rava goes in. And then fry it till it becomes a little golden brown in color. We don't have to burn it. The quantities of the ingredients as I said are mentioned in the description box. So please do go through it. We will add a little more ghee to this. This recipe is my grandma's recipe. So please do try this and do let me know in the comments box how it worked for you. The quantity of the ghee is like the rava should become a little wet. As you can see here, it's sandy texture. But we don't want our ghee uh, too much in quantity because don't forget that we are going to add our mava. So our rava is now done. I am going to add my khoya to this and then just combine it well. Then switch off the flame. So now I have switched off the flame and let it cool down at room temperature. Now with another pan we are going to take our sugar and we will add water till our sugar is covered properly. So we will check how much water we require. So this is enough and we are also going to add about 2 teaspoons of milk. Now we will switch on the flame and uh, we are going to make one string sugar syrup. Mix it a little, give it a stir. It will require about 5 to 7 minutes on high flame. I have switched off the flame now and the one string syrup is ready. As you can see, it's ready now. We will add some cardamom powder. Mix it and then pour this to our rava mixture. Mix it really well. We don't want any lumps. The flame is off right now. So after about half an hour, this is completely done and we can roll our laddus. If the mixture becomes too dry, then don't worry. Just add a little milk to it and then mix it properly and then roll your laddus. So this is how we have to roll the laddus of this size. The size actually always depends as per your like. We will stir our raisins into the laddu like this. Yes, lovely. I am really grateful to my granny because she shared the recipe with me and uh, I am lucky that I am sharing it with you all. So please, please, please do comment in the comment box what you feel about the recipe and how it worked for you. It matters a lot to me. Our delicious tempting rava laddus are ready. Uh, if you feel that these uh, laddus don't maintain their shape, then just refrigerate them and then they will definitely maintain the shape. So don't worry. So please do like my video. Also share it with your friends and family. And please, please, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And those who have subscribed, thanks a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll keep sharing my recipes and you do keep watching. Next, next time. Bye-bye.